Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be going over a tutorial. A couple people are having some problems installing it, so I thought I'd give a very basic, kind of confusing tutorial. Quick disclaimer I am new to this. I have never installed Baldur's Gate 3 mods before that video I made a couple weeks ago. So I'm just going to be summarizing everything that I had to do to install them. This is not going to be the most efficient way. It might get a little bit confusing at points, but just stick with me. I promise that you'll know how to install it after this video. Um, another disclaimer, if something goes wrong and your mod doesn't install properly, I can't help you. I don't know why it wouldn't install properly. All the mod sections have posts and they talk about it and they also have places they talk about bugs. So if you're having a problem, this is going to be the best place to find out why you're having that problem. I wish I could help, but I promise you, I'm just a layman. I don't really understand this beyond a surface level. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. So first you're going to have to go to from a crypt Ico. This person uh, made a character Evelyn and they also gave us a mod list of everything you're going to need to install Evelyn. So just click this link tree, it's going to take you right here, then click mod list, it's going to take you here. So for any of you who are using unique.tav in the last video, you don't need that to create Evelyn. Um, I had it in my video because it was just a funny little bit, but in the end I didn't even end up using any of the um, mods that required it. Every single mod that required unique.tav has an alternative file that does not need it. Just read a little bit and you'll see, I promise. What I'm about to show you in the method that I use to install should work with every single one of these links. I'm not going to lie though, I'm lazy so I'm not going to check, Bruh. but I'm going to show you using just the first link. So here is one of the mods you're going to need. The first thing you want to do is you want to see what the requirements are. So for this mod, you need Baldur's Gate 3 mod fixer and you need Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager. We're going to do the mod manager first because that's kind of where everything starts. So first things first, you're going to click Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager. It's going to take you to this website. If you can read, you don't even need me. It says it right here, how to install it. But in case you're illiterate, um, just click this, download it after you download it open it up on open it up wherever you store your files you're gonna extract it right here extract all and then after you extract it it's going to open up a folder it's not going to be named Baldur's Gate 3 not modding it's not going to be named this I forgot what it actually is named it's going to have this inside of it and then after you're on this page you're just gonna double click Baldur's Gate 3 monitor.exe and then you're going to find the game path so if you install the game through Steam or wherever you got the game from just find the path select that path all right after you have that path selected it's going to open up it's not going to look like this this is with all the mods installed but this is what it's going to look like so that's step one we're going to come back here in a second now that we got Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager installed and out of the way next we're going to go to Baldur's Gate 3 mod fixer that's going to that's going to bring you to this page um you're just going to go to files and then after you go to files, you're going to go to manual download. It's going to appear here. Just go to the file location. Same exact thing, except this time you're going to press extract all. And then once you extract all, a folder is going to appear. I'll just show you real quick. And it's going to look just like this. You're just going to click that, click this, and then you want this modfixer.pack. So from right here, you could go back into the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager, press file, press import mod, and then go find wherever you installed this and click the pack file. But what I did is I made my own folder and I took every single pack file and I put it in the same location. You can actually see right here. This is the file that I made. This has every single mod. Um, this is every single pack file you're going to need, right? So, um, after you have the pack file, whatever you need it, press file, import mod, click whatever pack, and then press open. Uh, it's going to appear right here in inactive mods, right under here. So you're going to want to install every single mod first before you actually activate one of the mods. So install all of these. They're all going to be right here first. Install these. These installed directly right here. I do want to talk about some of these for a second, specifically 
trips shader it was actually pretty confusing it might give you a little bit of trouble it kind of is what gives the game the quote unquote dreamy atmosphere honestly you don't even need it if you don't want to just look up some videos like you see the videos um Ico makes if you want the game to look like it does in those videos then you're gonna need it but if you don't really care about that and you don't mind the way Baldur's Gate 3 usually looks you don't even need this it's up to you uh in case you do want to download it though here is where you go in order to use it you are going to need reshade reshade is super confusing to the point where i'm not even going to explain it to you just download reshade read everything it says right here and then go to youtube and put use reshade in and then follow any one of these videos i believe i followed this first video when i was doing it myself that's going to teach you how to use reshade i can't do it even if i wanted to with that being said, I think that's everything you need to know. I'm pretty sure every single one of these files can be installed in the way I just explained to you. You can just um, open up any of the files like this, go to file, and then press manual download, find where the file is, extract the pack file, file and make sure you install it using the mod manager and that's going to work for every single one of these mods i do want to show you example of not needing a unique tab though for use for you guys who still think you might need it um like right here right this one says mari's tattoo unique tab this one just says replacer just use the one that says replacer you don't need unique tab it's not necessary um so that's basically a, the whole tutorial I'm just going to speed run a summary real quick so you guys can understand and make sure everything you're doing is right. Go to this TikTok, go to this link tree, find these mods, click the mod. Once the mod opens, go to description, read if you really want to have an understanding, uh, go to the requirements, install the requirements, go to the files, manual download, find the file, extract the file, click the extracted file, make sure you know where the .pack file is, go into Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager, import the mod, click the pack, and then it'll appear right here or right here in the mod manager so that's basically the tutorial after you have every single mod downloaded you can then move them from left to right so like you see this right here you can move it here or you can move it here after you have every single file and every single mod you want to use just go to export export order to game click it and then if you did everything right you should open your game and all the mods you installed should be available they should be working and that's really it that's all i have for you guys um that's just a tutorial if something wasn't clear in this tutorial and you have a question for me i will try my hardest to answer it but as i said if the mod itself doesn't work i can't help you i don't know how to troubleshoot or fix a mod or what you could have done to make it not work your best case is just to go to the website your best chance is to go to the website and one of the look at the post or look at the bugs or maybe go to youtube or maybe go to reddit and try to find your problem and try to see how somebody else fixed it uh, that's all i got for you guys uh part three should be coming very soon depending on when i upload this video either the day after or the same day that's all i got for you though um i appreciate all the love you guys been showing this channel uh we're almost at 200 subscribers which is kind of crazy so uh expect more content soon salam alaikum wa anna sa'yahu sawfa yuha tum Thank you.